up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shakes P. Keeping it 100. Y'all already know how we do here, man. Right now, we're going to jump into a reaction. We're going to react to Brandon Taz Niederauer showing off his signature Atlantic guitar at NAM 2020. This is a dono request. I guess it's um, D Angelico Guitars. I'm not really too familiar with them, but at the end of the day, I'm not a guitarist. I'm a rapper and a drummer. However, my family plays a bunch of guitars and stuff like that. This is a dono request to my subscriber. Thank you so much for the dono. Um, let's get right into this, man. The last reaction we did to this kid, Taz, was just absolutely phenomenal. This is a 13-minute reaction. I'm not sure if this is an interview, if this is him playing. I don't, I don't know what this is, so let's just get right into this. Taz, it's on you, man. Give it up for my good friend, Brandon Taz Niederauer. Thanks for hanging out with us, Brandon. Thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, so we've been hanging with Brandon for many years now. He's a dear friend to the brand. Um, I, I met him, I think, when he was 11 years old. He's become a quite the young gentleman over the years, I would <laughs> say. You. Yeah, you're Thank officially you. a young gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, and you've been better at me, uh, uh, better than me at guitar the whole time, which is upsetting. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, th this kid is just one of those people like the soul pours out of him. You can see it when he plays. Everybody, all the, all the great players that we're associated with at the brand, every time they see you perform, they're like, kid's got it. He just has the <laughs> Thank thing. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. It, it really pours out. Um, he's been endorsed by everybody. I don't mean brands. I mean by the great players. You know, people who are, who are getting an eye on Brandon. They genuinely want to collaborate with him. They really respect your playing. Um, congrats on how much you've come up in the past couple years, man. Thank you so much. So, uh, Brandon and I got to collaborate um, a little over a year now, right? Probably I do got to say that that's a gorgeous guitar, man. Wow. A yeah, year and probably. a half yeah. on his very first signature model guitar, which he's got in his lap right here. This is the Brandon Niederauer Deluxe Atlantic. So uh, it's part of uh, our solid body collection, uh, one of four shapes that came out two years ago. And Brandon was uh, the first uh, artist model in the solid body collection. So he's got a custom Atlantic. It's that single cutaway, um, really nice thin body frame on there, super comfy single cutaway solid solid body. Um, why don't you tell them a little bit about what makes your model special real quick? Yeah, what makes my model special, I, we'll start with the color. I mean, the way it looks, it's just, I love this sonic blue here and the tortoise pickguard. And I really liked how, you know, you really let, well, at that time I was 15. You let a 15 year old, you know, be in control and go let me, you know, use my mind for a couple months and figure out what I wanted. And you didn't, you weren't controlling in any way. You just let me do what I want. That's really solid, man. Like, we heard him when he was younger. Like, he's so good. Wanted, and I really why felt wouldn't like I, it came right? out. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's, thank you for that. You know? <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. My yeah. pleasure. But we got the satin chrome hardware, and we got a antiquity here and a DA59. These, uh, these Seymour Duncan pickups really scream through amps when you juice them, and you know, because I like to play loud. Of course, I bet you can all hear that later, but <laughs> when I pierce your ears out, but. I just really love this. You know, you got medium jumbo frets for that good feel. This neck is thin, so I can get all my fast lines in. And, I mean, it's not too lacquered over here. I think it's a satin finish. Yeah, yeah, nice and, and satin finished it's up. It's super smooth. And, I mean, I really love what you did with this body cut right here. Yeah. You it don't have a belly it, for it to hug, yeah, but yeah. But I mean, if I did, maybe one day I'll have a dad bod, and when that you happens, bet you will, boy. Yeah, yeah. And when it's that happens, <laughs> I'm sure that this will still be my main arsenal. I play this guitar every single day, and I will always play every single day because it's my favorite guitar in the world for me, and it just fits Badass. me. And I'm so happy. I mean, this was literally the first prototype, and it came out, and it was perfect. And I just I remember that yeah. day. I was like, "Did we yeah. do it?" You're like, "I think we did yeah, it." Yeah, it was it was a magical day for me. It was. It was definitely a moment in time, like, you guys were definitely one of the first, if not the first companies to believe in me as like an 11 year old, and I'm super thankful for you guys bringing me out and having me do my thing on I stage every year, you, and yeah. That's so badass, hearing some of this stuff, man, and like hearing a little bit of his come up, because again, I am new to this kid. Um, I know he's not necessarily a kid anymore, because this is three years old, um, but still, like, it's great to hear this stuff, because I guess this was two years old. Uh, um, this guitar was two years old at the time. He's 15 here, so or, or 17 here, 15 when he got the guitar. So, like 18 now, 20 now. 
I can't wait to a, a long relationship. So thank yeah, you. man. Us too. Us too. Easy to believe in you. And, um, you know, in regards to trusting Brandon with what he wanted to do with the model, as I was saying earlier, a player as competent and as soulful as you, it's like, why wouldn't you trust an artist to come up with what they want to do, you know? And I, I have to mention, Brandon is the ideal artist to work with for a company like us. He genuinely plays this guitar absolutely everywhere he goes. It's actually a, a huge help to us in the product development side too to see how these guitars age when you play them for hours and hours and you pour sweat onto them on stage at night yeah. you can actually see that the side of the headstock and the back of the neck yeah. is, is getting a little bit more worn it's, it it's, is and these pickups they were already aged but you could see there's rust all over it and it just looks so cool i'm gonna be honest our our <laughs> tech is not gonna be happy with you dude yeah. he does not like sweat <laughs> on the pickups robert if you're listening we're sorry um yeah, yeah. i mean i got some there's some wear here there's some buckle rash but you know that's what the, the guitars like to be loved yeah man that's and what it's about yeah. they sound better once you put a little sweat into them yeah this might be the most played in d'angelico i've ever seen it might, yeah it's I definitely mean, up there for me and it's i you know i've done a bunch of stuff to this guitar let's hear it it's time to hear it let's hear it oh i had to refret it because like i played it so much like literally every night in wow. sweaty bars and sometimes arenas and yeah man i mean it literally it's so versatile between these three switches here and going through the different pickup selections and having your tone knobs here. Yep. And it's just such a versatile instrument that I use in the studio every time I go in the studio and I mean you can get some screaming less fall tones and yep. you can get all the all the good the goodness and the I mean, it's really just such an instrument that I want to use for the rest of my career, man. So we'll let Brandon illustrate what this guitar sounds like in a second. But I should mention that, you know. What an endorsement he's giving these guys, man. That's amazing. What a beautiful brand ambassador Brandon is. And it, I mean, it's really just such an instrument that I want to use for the rest of my career, man. So we'll let Brandon illustrate what this guitar sounds like in a second. But I also speaks volumes for D'Angelico as well as the brand. Um, and how highly regarded Brandon holds them as their brand ambassador after X amount of time and so many years in. Like sometimes they have a falling out or they might not necessarily agree eye to eye. But this doesn't look disingenuous. This looks completely genuine from top to bottom. And I, that, that's phenomenal. I should mention that, you know, one of the things we do on a lot of models to make them more versatile is we'll throw coil splitting uh, tone knobs in there so that you can do the humbucker thing and the single coil thing. And when I asked Brandon if he wanted to do the single coil thing, he's like, nah, nah. just humbuckers <laughs> for me, man. And no, that I mean, it was just <laughs> I wanted something not only that had some futuristic right. elements in it, but also was familiar with the guitars from the 50s and 60s, which I fell in love with. And... I mean, this is, I feel like, the perfect blend. And yeah, and I remember what you were saying. You were like, no, I don't need the coil splitting, man. I just need good pots. Yeah. And for those of you who aren't full-blown nerds about guitars, right, pots are what actually allow you to dial in the range between 0 and 10 on your volume knobs and on your tone knobs. And I remember, like you said, you were a very young man at that time, yeah. and you are like, I have some very specific ideas about which potentiometers I want. And yeah. your dad's like, the hell's a potentiometer? Like, what, <laughs> what is this kid talking about? Like, why is yeah. that what he's like? But it makes a world of difference. Yeah. And so, a lot of what you do is you'll be able to have your clean tone when your volume knob is dropped down to five or six. Just randomly popped into my head. I wonder if Tosh Verrett and um, Taz have um, collabed with each other. I'm, I'm wondering if they've got a guitar collab. Yeah, and then you can and then turn I it up for some juice. it up for yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and this guitar, the pots are so great, and I've been able to get a wide range of tones and... I mean, it's just, it's a workhorse, man. Yeah. I put it through hell, but... <laughs> yes, you do. It keeps so, coming. Why don't you show people a little bit of that and show them how the pots feel for you. I'm going to yeah. turn you up just a little bit. Sure, yeah, yeah. Just him messing around having fun. Like, jeez. Oh, that's awesome.
Yeah, I just yeah, think... Man, give it up. Give it up for Brent. It's definitely a... It's a great instrument, and... I mean, the good thing is it has the... I, one of the best forgotten positions, the middle position. Amen, dude. The Nile Rodgers position, as I like to call it, <laughs> where you get that. Woo! And when I go into the studio with a lot of artists, that's the position I usually use because they want that, you know, like pop rocky kind of thing. Yeah, that articulate thing. Yeah, and I mean, this guitar, when you go down or up, you know, that's the rock position, as I like to call it. and. I mean, you can get some juicy tones down here. The tones that are coming out of that guitar, man. He's making it sang. It's not singing. It's singing. It's singing! The rock position, as I like to call it. And I mean, you can get some juicy tones down here. even just by going flipping it down and picking up here you can get that and that's without pedals on the floor or anything like that exactly and when you add those into the equation that's when it's just it's just and, nutty. And so th that's heaven, the man. thing, man. When you, when you were talking about those quality parts and getting the right pots in there, I mean, you guys just heard it, but you can see how versatile, how huge that range of tones is, and that's just by dialing in what you want on your knobs and, and using your right hand a little bit differently, yeah. you know? Um, let's talk about the speediness with which you play. The speediness. Uh, the speediness, also known yes. as speed. The horsepower. <laughs> the horsepower. But, I mean, what's your technique for flying around the fingerboard? I mean, every time I see you, you're working two more notes in, I mean, you know. the easy secret about it is just, I used to do these warm-ups every day where I was just like, just this, and up the neck, until I got into there, up and down, and sometimes doing it without the pick and all that, and I just started trying to go faster and just practicing in my room for hours. And are you anchored on your right hand? Um, usually, oh, kinda. kinda-ish. Yeah. Uh, it all depends on the player. It also depends on how you hold the pick. Cause some people hold the pick like this. I don't know how they do that, but oh yeah, I've seen yeah, that. I've yeah, seen it that. just looks like somebody has a some just like a broken hand. <laughs> yeah, they got like all. I'm not gonna name names, but <clears throat> little Wayne who can't play the guitar plays like that. Artilage sometimes, and then and you, sometimes you got the complete down pickers. I'm somewhere in between. And you're using a really thick pick too, right? Yeah, it's a it's a 1.5. Oh okay, yeah. And, uh, Dunlop pick and. Yeah, I just it just felt good. I just picked up a bunch of ones, and I picked pretty hard. You could tell I played pretty ferociously, and I'm, like, banging on it, you know? Hence the name. No, we yeah. got you. <laughs> and uh, I, the pick just doesn't break, so that's, that's just what I like. Hey, man, got to prioritize things yeah. that don't leave you, you know? True. Um, all right, so before you play us off, before you show us just a little bit more, why don't you tell us what you have coming up, shows-wise and projects-wise? Yeah, um... Coming up, you can go to tazguitar.com to see all the shows that we got. And uh, I got a show here at 5, actually, and one at the Hilton at 7. If you want to come and jam with us and jam out with us, you know, and dance and hear some of my music. And I just want to say thanks again for bringing me here. And, I mean, I love Nam. It's such a, a geekery place for me. I get to just unload my geekness with my friends and walk around the I rock around until my feet start going on fire. Yeah, but uh, me, yeah. Man. And just quick thanks to everybody out there because we know that, and all the dealers and everybody, we all know that, and all the companies know that we would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys out there. And we fully appreciate all of you guys. So just give yourself a round, a round of, applause of applause for yourself. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Good call. All right, so why don't you play us out with a little bit, just a little something? Yeah. Wow. 
So good. This is the Brandon Nieder Hour Signature Atlantic. It's available everywhere. Go check it out. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. Catch Brandon at 5 o'clock right there. Right there. Thanks again, guys. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. That was Brandon Taz Nieder Hour showing off his signature Atlantic guitar at NAM with the Angelico guitars. Man, it's so cool. Seeing that aspect of artists, see how humble, down to earth, and just cool and fucking relatable they are. And just showing the side of them that's human, just like you and me, but they've got superhuman talents because they put in superhuman amount of hours in practice to horn their craft, to just make sure that they are the masters at what they do. Super cool to see, and just the riffs that he was doing were just absolutely phenomenal and so good on so many different levels how sick is that guitar we know the guitar playing is going to be off the chain you're not going to be doing a spot like this if you're not an amazing guitarist and i knew from the very first 20 seconds of listening to this kid i hate calling him a kid i'm going to take that back from the first 20 seconds of hearing him in my first reaction i just knew that Taz was just unbelievable. YouTube, y'all already know what it is at this point, man. Y'all know how we do over here. We keep it 100. I keep it absolutely 100% with y'all. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Click that post notification bell. Make sure to like, share, comment down below. Hit me up in the comments and let me know songs, artists, things you want me to react to. I got you. I will put it on the list. I say this all the time because it's true. Everything we react to on this channel is what you requested. So keep on requesting and I'll keep on reacting to your request the way that it works. Don't over request. I always get bumped up to the very top of the list and reacted to first. The most heavily requested in the comments is what we're going to react to next and then everything else so make sure that you guys spam the comments and let me know what you want also i've been looking but can't find it find that i why is my english so good who taught you how to spoke i've been looking for brandon's official youtube channel somebody hit me up in the comments and let me know where i can find his solo stuff and stuff like that i'd love to dig a little bit deeper down that rabbit hole but i couldn't find it as always, in the description is the link to what we're reacting to. If you like this, click that link. Make sure to go subscribe over to the channel. It's your boy, Shakespeare. I'm keeping it 100, and I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.